Have you ever had sex on acid before? I just did some Molly this weekend. You did acid? No, Molly. Oh, how was that? Taking a bath and shit, <laughs> playing with my nipples and shit, like. Oh. <laughs> sail away, sail away, sail away. <laughs> Yo, yo, what's up, yo? Coming straight to y'all motherfuckers from Austin, Texas at Wild Mate Studios. It's your boy. <laughs> it's your boy, Daddy Rob. Joy another. You know, we, we, got, we, we got the motherfucking first lady up in this motherfucker. <laughs> Christina P. With Woo-hoo! the main mommy. Big mama in the house. I'm so stoked to be here, Danny. Can I just tell you that every time I see your face, I get so happy. <laughs> I think you just, you you bring me so much joy and the whole world. Thank you. You're like, your, so your presence. Thank I love you. you. Thank you. So how, um, how does Austin, Texas weather treat you right now? <laughs> well, you know what they say. You don't like the weather today. You wait till tomorrow and then you finger your sister. And that's what they said? That's what they say. That's some Austin shit for real. <laughs> they say you wait until tomorrow. I love it because it's like it's winter in the morning and then it's summer in the afternoon sometimes. I know the sucky part about it for me is just being out here and just used to the sun and all that shit. So when it get gloomy like this, yeah, I mean, it, I kind of get a little sad for some reason. You feel it, sad today? But I, I mean, I don't know. It's just giving me feels or something. But, yeah. the, but the crazy part is that in Detroit, that's like 75% of the time it looks like this. Oh, yes. So it's like, I don't know. That, that's kind of weird that now I'm already because we moved here almost around the same time, right? Yeah. Because yeah. it'd be two years for me in March. Same. Well, May. We moved here, yeah. Okay. Two years in May. So you got blue today. You woke <clears throat> up and you felt sad. I wouldn't say I feel sad. It's just, you know, I, it's just, I don't know. I, I, I Maybe homesick. For Detroit. Yeah. But I just was there. It wasn't that great of a time. <laughs> you know, I didn't go back home. I mean, when I go, I do the um, Bruise of Thanksgiving. So I went back for um, to do my festival that I do. Yeah. And it's just stressful. You know, we're doing that. Just, you know, working on that, doing a show where you booking gas and yeah. They did my family. Everybody hit me up. Put me on a list. Put me on a list. Put oh, me on a list. I just cut my phone off this yeah. this year. I ain't even deal with it. I cut my phone off and got drunk. Good so for I wasn't you. even paying no attention. It isn't that, there's nothing worse than a performer when you're getting ready and then your shit blows up with people wanting fucking tickets last minute or this and that. I, where mm-hmm. do I park? Is there food? Where do I how do I I'm like, dude, don't don't talk to me. I mean you only go through that in your home time though. I feel like the worst where yeah. it's just stressful. Like my mom come through. I, but it was good to see my family. It was yeah. good to see my family and hang out with them. So I had a good time. But I had to come right back here because I don't know. I just didn't feel like hanging out in Detroit for that long. Yeah. It's, it wasn't that bad, though. I, I, I expected it to be super cold. But it wasn't that bad. I guess, you know, climate change is really going down out here. Do you really think so? I I, I mean, wonder. when I was a kid, I remember like around like Thanksgiving, it'd be like snow up to my knees. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Like almost like it had been times like we'll be out of school for like a week. Wow. Like, it, it was guaranteed you was going to get a week out of school because of the snow. And I don't think that happened right now. I don't think that happens no more in Michigan. I mean, well, not Detroit. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it still get fucked up in, like, the Upper Peninsula. Them motherfuckers still riding snowmobiles and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they suck. Their lives will always suck. But, like, California, everybody is always like, oh, these fires are out of control now. And it's like, no, dude, that shit's been blazing since I can remember growing up in L.A. And things used to be way worse, sir. Remember back, I don't know, back in the 80s, we had smog alert days, like days where you couldn't go outside. Because it was just too much smog. No, I never know about this. <laughs> That's some California shit, though. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, acid rain. Like, it was it Acid was rain? Worse. What is that? It's the, you remember acid rain in the late 80s, early 90s? It's when um, no. the pollution was so bad that it would go into the clouds and rain down polluted rain. Acid rain is what that shit was called in like the late 80s. Oh, it like fuck up your car paint. It would fuck like up that? everything. Your oh. body, it was really oh, if bad. Oh, you, it's fucking you up. <laughs> So you couldn't go outside during acid rain days? This is almost say like some cyberpunk it's, 2077 type shit. It's Blade Runner, and, and now it's going yeah. back to that in L.A., but yeah. No, L.A. is dangerous right now. It's fucked up. They it's keep, so sad. They just keep robbing people. Is it? Is, do you think L.A. is worse than Detroit right now? Um, L.A. or Detroit? Let's play. I mean, no, I, I will say L.A. is probably worse right now. Yeah, because I Detroit, think so, too. Detroit just now starting to, um, like, like they're thriving in the music yes. industry now. Like, if people are starting to get money. Like, if we starting to have... 
more than just one celebrity there now. Yes. So it's starting to get cool. And that, that only brings in more money because then they put their homies on. So we're we starting to have a thriving thing going right now in rap music. And it's been like a good five years strong now. So it ain't going nowhere. So shouts out to the homies. Shouts out to the homies. <laughs> and Detroit Airport is looking really good Yeah, these I love days. the Detroit Airport. Yeah, they did a the good Detroit job. Airport. It's just too fucking big. You yeah. got to get on that train and shit. I hate the fucking train. I hate any airport with train. a train. The Atlanta. Yeah. I think Dallas got Miami, one Miami, I was just in Miami. I had to take a fucking train to get to Miami baggage got claim. the train. Why are you putting me on a train? I just got off a plane. Now you want me to sit down and No, it's the worst. It's plane. the worst. For some reason, every time I take a plane, it fucks up my stomach. So Really? Yeah. So what every time mean? I land, I'm ready to do my thing. <laughs> 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 what the are last you? thing I want to do is wear on a train. <laughs> is it because you're, is it the early flight that you take? Maybe it's the air. I don't know, man. I'll be on there farting and shit. The whole, t- I think it's the air pressure that makes you fart. As soon as I land, I'll be like, I got to do my thing. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Because yeah, I don't shit on planes. You don't shit no, on planes. No, I mean, I, I, I don't, but I have. I've only done it once. One yeah, one time I fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, it's the worst. I fell asleep and the turtle head, he was already peeking <laughs> out. He was already opening up the blinds. I was like, oh, shit, <laughs> this has to happen. <laughs> like, it's no going back now. Yeah. So, yeah, I wouldn't have did my thing, man. But, nah, that's not cool, man. It's I not hate, cool. Because... Uh, to me, it's like everybody know what you're doing. They see Every, you walk that's away. That's what I did. <laughs> I'm convinced. They like, damn, you be cowering like, this nigga ain't coming back yet. What are you in there doing? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Beca- but do you know why we think that? Because we fucking notice, I notice when someone's blowing up the toilet. Mm-hmm. And I'll be like, you nasty bitch. You're blowing up the toilet right now. Like, why, why are you shitting on a plane? Can't you shit before? I, I get upset. What it is, too, is that you just gotta, um, you just gotta become an expert at flying. I think yeah. a lot of people are very novice. Yeah. Like you can't be eating the McDonald's. No. Like you just be happy you came in there. You see a little restaurant and Mm-mm. food court and shit. You can't eat none Don't of that shit, it. man. You gotta leave it alone. That's right. Drink you some water, man. Just just hold it down. Wait till you land and grab some food. Cause I used to do that taking yep. I used to go to London a lot and I used to take the ten o'clock. I would take the ten PM flight at night. So I land there, it'd be like morning. It'd already be like noon or something. So it'd be the next day. So I would just oh. get on the plane, I eat a shit ton of McDonald's, I take Xanax, pass out. <laughs> Now, by the time I get to Heathrow, he, 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 I'm in the, I'm in the, <laughs> London. I'm in the passport line, blowing that motherfucker up, just <laughs> farting Big Mac sauce. <laughs> Motherfuckers is dying back there, like, what is going on? So I had to stop doing that. I was like, yeah. I get it now, just don't fucking eat. Don't eat? I do the same thing. I fast, and I mm-hmm. don't eat the airline, the airplane food. Don't even give it to me. They always want to offer, you want to eat that? I go, no, no. I, I might I eat the cheese it I'll take, a, I'll take yeah. a, little, a little bag of cheese it and some, some sparkling water. That's what you'll do. Yeah, so a little sparkling a little water and some cheese That'll hold you down, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But not oh, the meal. Man. My biggest mistake is when in the Atlanta airport I had tacos before I flew to South Africa, and that's a long flight. And that's where the first time I sharted was on a plane oh, ride man. to South Africa. Atlanta airport, I like them because you can smoke cigarettes. Mm-hmm. They got that little cigarette. It, it tastes yep. like it smells like death in there. Though, as soon as you, <laughs> it makes you be like, man, it started making you rethink your life when you be in the Atlanta airport in that little <laughs> bubble in the middle of the, in the, uh, at yes. the gate and you smoke a cigarette. You look at everybody in there, it look like Chernobyl. Yeah. You like, I yeah. know I don't deserve to be like this, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's all bad, man. But yeah, man, let's hop into some. Um, yeah, let's do it. I got damn it, some ex Danny. Ex Danny. You got questions, I got answers. Hit me up at Danny at the Danny Brown Show.com. That's Danny at the Danny Brown Show.com. Also, leave voicemail. Hit your boy up at 512 522 9256. That's 512 522 9256. Already see what we getting into with this shit. Problem with porn. Everybody got a fucking problem with porn, man. It's fucking, um, they say that's a, um, <laughs> That's, 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 um, you know, that's, that's a cyber war attack on America, man. <laughs> Other countries don't got to deal with this, but everybody got fucked up porn problems right now. It's that goddamn TikTok. Is that's it a, a pro? Why is it a problem? It was TikTok. Are... You know, I, you know what I think? Why porn has became a problem? Because every normal citizen do it now. Yeah. Like because of the fucking COVID and all that shit happened. So you had uh... normal motherfuckers making OnlyFans and this and that. So now it's like an overabundance of just nastiness going on everywhere you go you get what i'm yeah. saying like even if it you get what i'm saying because it wouldn't have been that many it would just been the girls that do porn yeah. and that's that now you got every girl that feels like that some people some of them might be looking at it like what what made you think this is something that you, <laughs> you need to be doing like <laughs> who put this in your head but it dude yeah. everybody got their own little fetishes but, man but so they you... got their niche that's what i'm saying now is now the market is over flooded man yes. there's too many genres now that's going on but it's wild because even like there's comedians that do that mm-hmm. and they're like nasty on theirs 
Yeah. And I guess if you're a fan of that person, it's kind of cool, though. Because you're yes, like, that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. fucking this shit up. But then I don't know if I want to watch you, J or D, because I like you so much <laughs> as Danny Brown the rapper. I'd be so upset. You know, like, doesn't that ruin it for you? I just don't want to care. I mean, especially a person, you know, that you kind of like, you know, you're a fan of. I just don't want to see yeah. them making those faces. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers making those uh, faces of just lust. like. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you're yeah. a whole new version of like, man. Yeah. Cause like, when... you, you different. Nah, man. Like, you, that's too vulnerable, man. Definitely, because once you see somebody's genitals, you it's can't. Not, ain't no going back from that. Yeah. Ain't no going back for that. So, all right, no. here we go. What's good, Danny? First off, I love the show and your music. I'm a 24-year-old male who's been in a loving relationship for about a year and a half. Up to that point, I was single and in college, playing a field and shit. My girlfriend not haven't had any serious issues, but there would be times when my dick won't stay hard. I've been mm-hmm. trying to stop watching porn for years, but haven't gone longer than about two weeks without peeking due to seeking, seeing some hot girl on Twitter or Instagram. It has nothing to do with my girlfriend. She's beautiful, but for some reason, I can't stop peeking at this shit. I don't have any issues with any other vices really besides this one. How do I quit? Thanks, D.E. How do I quit? Nigga, just quit. That's the real. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bottom line of it, buddy. What he said yeah. is true. It's, it's the Twitter and the Instagram and the TikToks and all that shit. You could be like, man, I ain't fucking with no porn. I ain't watching that shit. And every now and then you would just see a bitch and you'd be like, damn, what she got going on? And she had that link tree. Mm-hmm. Like, hit this link tree. <laughs> And in my heart, sometimes, man, <laughs> you hit the link tree to be only fans, zoom, 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 this and that. Then you be like, you know, then you click the, how much this bitch charging to see that monkey? Then you click that, $3, hold up, man. I got $3, man. I think I could spare $3. Then you, then you look at it for the $3, then you're like, oh, man, this is crazy, man. So, yeah, that, that does happen. So, yeah, you got me personally. What I do is I, I don't have no social medias on my phone. I mean, I recently just did kind of go back. And then, but I but I take them off though. You know what I'm saying? That just is like for a day of me being bored laying on the couch. You know, I was like, yeah. fuck it, man. Let me look at some shit. And plus, you know, sometimes when I'm like watching UFC fights, I like being on Twitter and seeing the reaction on Twitter. It's like I'm watching fights with a bunch of motherfuckers mm. instead of being by myself. So I could just like search the fight, seeing what motherfuckers are saying. And you know, so I like doing that, I will say. But yeah, as far as porn, I feel like, man, especially with this generation, man, um, they grew up with porn next to their bed. You know what I'm saying? You got a computer in your room, shit. That's a jack-off box. It is. (laughs) That's what that is. That's so scary. I would have knew how I would have been able to handle that shit as a teenager. My hormones was raging. Everybody's. But we had to go through so much just to get pornography Yeah, I told these these niggas. We had had one dude in school, man. He was like a a, a porn broker. He was the coolest (laughs) motherfucker in school. He had VHS tapes in his book bag, man. You could just cop from him. And you could just grab, but he was still in like his, I think he had his own like illegal like uh, underground ring where he was like still in his uncle porn and he was buying like blank VHS tapes and he was dubbing wow. them. And, you know what I'm saying? Selling you uh, black big booties number 27 <laughs> on a school playground for $5. He's like, oh shit. Oh and that was God. the, because it was just, you know, you kids. So we, we thought oh my it was God. cool. Or remember when you'd have like the local DVD store mm-hmm. and then you'd had to go into like the dirty room? Yeah, yeah. That was all that shit. They had that at regular Blockbusters too. They did? Mm-hmm. The Triple X room? Uh huh. See, my thing was I would just get a regular, because you know, they used to have a, um, only thing, because that's why they stopped putting, um, you know, I used to have the cassettes in there. I mean, they had the, the um, VHS tapes in, inside the inside the cases, but in the porn room, it wouldn't be inside yeah. the cases. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> niggas would go in there and grab a motherfucker like E.T. or something. Yeah. Like, they don't want to be all, you know what I'm saying, all extra, and they'll just grab that, and they'll just switch them out. But, like, don't you think they should have, now looking back, because it's so shameful to rent porn, like, shouldn't they have a separate checkout like if a guy goes in there, he can fucking check that's out. That's still putting there. you on blast. Like, oh, here in the porn lane. Yeah. Right there. You just yeah. like that's putting you more on blast. But see, that Is was that... happening when they were switching up the uh the, the covers and shit with the porn and they was turning them back in. Yeah. So you have a motherfucking <laughs> a Smurfs cartoon movie. <laughs> and you got motherfucking long dong silver up in that motherfucker <laughs> and you, you written motherfucking Smurfs for your kids. Oh, Next thing you know, they watching Long Dong Silver. Long Dong Silver. <laughs> well, I have a suggestion for this gentleman. If you're trying to get off the the porn and stuff, like how about every time you feel like J and your D, you like put that energy into your lady. Is that cool? Like, be it's like, not that easy. It's not that. Okay, what you mean? Like, if she's not accessible? No, I mean, sex is like, uh, sex and, and J and your D is two different worlds, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, that's true. No, I mean, true. At, at me at my age, 
Uh, sometimes nigga just I want to be pelvic thrusting. Yeah. No, that's true. Just doing <laughs> movements and shit. I can that's just true. sit there. You just want to go. Just make it happen. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I just want a dopamine rush. Yes. That's all. It's just for the dopamine. That's for the love. This is for the dopamine. You know what I'm saying? I got you. So yeah, but yeah, you. that's all. He just want his dopamine, man. I would say, man, the best thing you can do is just you gotta just get rid of all that shit and start doing shit. Yeah. Because I think that's what happens when it gets the most triggering is when you ain't got nothing to do. You sitting in the crib yep. by yourself. You bored. Yep. House good. You start hearing noises and shit. Like, oh, you know. Well, you know it. You're chilling. You relax. You just start. You get what I'm saying? It's almost like you get to seducing yourself. You don't even realize. Like, I don't want to do this. You tell yourself no. Like, no means no. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, still be in your head. Like, shit, what's up with that dick, though? Go here. Just grab him. Just grab him. You grab him. Like, no, I don't want to do this. I don't want to stop. You just ready? You just be ready yourself that's what's happening <laughs> if you put that in your head every time you jack off man like man i'm ripping myself because i don't want to do this man so you'll realize man like i gotta get gotta cancel this nigga man i keep weinstein in myself man i keep telling myself i don't want to do this man <laughs> self-rape i like that mm-hmm. tell me you're raping yourself you gotta put that stuff in your head man that's the nice. devil man you're raping yourself dog. Men, men really do inhabit such a different world you got no you, self-control what you just described like i don't go through that as a yeah, lady yeah because the point everything is from from a from a loving point with your guys you know what i'm saying our shit is just fucked up yeah why it's is that because it's boners morning woods and shit man it should take over your brain it's true. niggas ain't got no brain we it's don't got true. no um compassion yeah you don't <laughs> I, I think so too i think is the compassion it, meeting with men is low do you th- why do men lack compassion what do you what is that is that like a, a missing genetic component or hormonal is it testosterone that makes you so sociopathic you guys are uh, fucking sociopaths really you know what i think you know what i think it is I, I will say for me um coming from a kid grow up in the 90s and all that shit man i feel like a lot of the music has a lot to do with it because you had all this super misogynistic extra sexual ass bitch suck my dick you know you're yeah, a teenage kid yeah. you hearing shit like that but then on the other side all the women's shit was just like um um Pay my bills, yeah. nigga. No scrubs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to have a J-O-B, J-O-B to be with me. You get what I said? Yeah. So it was just yeah. all, they had this two dynamics. Yep. Like, bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. And nigga like, nigga, you going to pay me for some of this pussy? So, just like... <laughs> <laughs> so I think growing up, my perception of what a normal relationship <laughs> and everything should be, it's just completely warped and all really fucked up, you know? That's so true. Yeah, because also too, like, the o- oversexed too. You're, you're yeah, like, yeah, like, over-sexualized. You're, you're like, Jesus, like Cardi B, as much as I love her, you're like, dude, she's talking about like her pussy being But see, wet. that's what it's I'm wild. saying. Now, now this, genera- this generation is going through an empowerment with it. See, where where, they, right. where mine, the bitches I was growing up with, they're like, nigga, you going to pay me with some of this pussy, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Now, these bitches are like, fuck that. Let's just fuck everything. It's empowering. Yeah, but which, is, <laughs> which, is, which, is such, which is such bullshit. Because the niggas it, ain't, cause like, ain't none of the niggas fucking because they watching porn all day and their dicks ain't working. Oh. So you got this dynamic of what's happening right now, man. It's, I mean, it sucks well, to be a teenager. Plus, women can make their own money a lot, like with OnlyFans mm-hmm. and stuff now, maybe. Yeah. That's the thinking. Like, I don't need, I don't need yeah, you for your it's, money. It's super empowered right now. Like, it, I it's, guess so. It's, it's, I, but do you really, listen, I think that's a myth that guys, that, that the women's movement sold itself the myth, the promiscuity is awesome so that guys don't have to step up and no, take care of them. No, it makes you all. sad. It's bullshit. Promiscuity, it makes you very promiscuous. It, makes, it just you, makes you sad. Yeah, it does make you, you sad. you just sit around one day and you're lonely and you just sit there watching some motherfucking um, Oprah or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> and you just be like, damn, all those dicks. <laughs> all those dicks just start hunting you like... You just start thinking about that shit like that. You start thinking like that nigga wasn't shit. I can't believe I did that. Then you start thinking to yourself, man, yeah. all the ones you wouldn't have did. Like, Ugh. yeah. And then you think about all the ones that you really like, but he wasn't gonna lock in with you because he knew about all the dicks. Yeah. So, <laughs> that, I, so but, then it hurts you because you're like, fuck. If yeah. I didn't do all those dicks, I could have been with Cuz. Yeah. Because I knew he liked me, but he just couldn't accept all the dicks that I've been. Yeah, with. Danny, it's like you're a fucking Yoda. Like, <laughs> You're so in tune with human. Um, I actually was in a relationship like that before. Like wow. I was with a girl, I liked her a lot, but I just like it'd be like uh, every now and then, he'd like you know, she'd be like, "Man, you was just mean the niggas like, man, yeah, I banged him." Like, damn, you fucked him too, yeah. and it just kept getting delicious, keep getting over and over and over. Where I'd be like, "Man, what's he smoking?" She'd be like, "Man, yeah, yeah, I fucked him too." Like, yeah, I mean, you were fucked. 
So yeah, and yeah, because it's really, I couldn't get over it. I couldn't get. I wouldn't be able to get over it with a guy, honestly, either. It's not attractive, and uh, and I know that's not cool to say now. Like mm-hmm. when someone's got high numbers, I don't think it's attractive because then you go, that person doesn't value their body or themselves. Yeah, they don't have any self discipline. Yeah, no yeah, fucking self esteem. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry too. And I, but that's the thing is like it's cool to hook up right now. I know that's the cool thing, but it's like. I don't know, every time I tried doing it in college or whatever, mm-hmm. I just felt like a piece of shit. And I was like, this doesn't feel good. And I know I'm supposed to like, what? Nothing, nothing. Oh, are you- I think all my promiscuity, 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 promiscuity. I, I just came from drugs. Oh yeah, that'll I think do that's it. What, that's what that is. It <laughs> wasn't just like because <laughs> that's where it come from. Because it don't even. It might not even happen. You and you might just be like, "Fuck it, we go get." But I, you know, you like shit. We getting high together. Oh, I'm, we eventually gonna be naked. That's true. So yeah, shit like that happens. That's but so that's good. That's why I'm 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 good. I don't be doing shit like that no more. Have you ever had sex on acid before? I think I tried. Yeah, we did. But too. I don't think it worked. It doesn't work very. I don't think it worked. I just did some Molly this weekend. It was fun. You did acid? No, Molly. Oh, how was that? Yeah, it was, uh, it was good. It was nice. It's like ecstasy, took a bath right? And shit, you know what I'm saying? I was taking a bath and shit, <laughs> playing with my nipples and shit. Like, <laughs> sail away, sail away, sail away. <laughs> sail away. And then that song was in my head. <laughs> and then yeah. Enya, was that Enya? Yeah, I don't sail know. I, that shit for some reason, that shit just popped oh in my, my head. God, I was like, sail oh. Away. So yeah, that's like, so funny. Just, I could see you doing a cover of "Sail just, Away." Just cuddling for hours and shit. <laughs> like, the body is so warm. That's the type of shit you say. Your body is so warm. But yeah, I think it's a good. So I think every blue moon, yeah. that's some cool. You know, you know, just hang out because because I feel like Molly just makes you like, man, it just makes you weird. Yeah. I'd be like, fuck it, man. I just want to relax and shit. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next up, yeah. we got musty roommates. Oh. I mean, that's. Uh, God we are, knows. Uh, hey, Danny. I'm a college student that lives on campus. Long story short. Oh, mm, yeah. My roommate smells so bad that it funk up our bedroom. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about it smells like mildew and sweat. Fucking create a whole new file. I already know. I already know the smell, too. I know. Sometimes it's so bad I had to leave when she... Oh, it's a, it's oh, a she. Oh, it's a she. funky bitch. That's different. <laughs> you funky bitch. I tried to hint Mm-mm. at her about the smell. Mm-mm. But I don't want to be mean about it. You got to be mean. What would you do in this situation? Yeah, you got to be mean. I mean, at the end of the day, it's um, affecting your living situation. You know, one thing about me, man, I don't play no stinky shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, um, I wouldn't necessarily address the situation. Like, let's say me, because that's just like, for some reason, that's just embarrassing. Like, you yeah. sit the motherfucker down like, man, you know, you stank, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like a hard thing to do, but I would yeah. just be mean. I would just, you know, I would just be throwing bad vibes at the person. You know what I'm saying? And one day, one day when they just, you know, when they want to address the situation, when they just see how much I'm pressing the issue, I'm talking shit, I'm fucking with them. No, to be honest, I know who I am. I, I, I got a technique I call cracking but facking. So eventually, <laughs> I'm going to just start cracking jokes on, on, on your ass. It's going to be, you get what I'm saying? Where I'm be like, you know. I'm going to just start, especially if like company come around, you know, oh, if I had somebody man. over, be like, this motherfucker, Nancy. like I'm going to start, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have somebody come over and beer shoot in front of my company about how Nancy you is. Like, look at this shit. You know? Oh, that's <laughs> smart. Because then you, you shame them into. Because you got to let them know, yeah. this ain't me, man. Like, yeah. I don't live like this. You get what I'm saying? Like, look, look, I'm sorry, man. You come through, man. This is fucked up, man. Look, look at this motherfucker, man. This is what I got to go through. And be loud and shit. Had a motherfucker in yeah. the room and they could hear you talking like, man, this motherfucker nasty. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's so funny. That's <laughs> so shaming. And then if they want to come out, because they should come out and address the situation. They come, that's how you start fights, though. Because then we yeah, about to fight about fight. this shit. So you come out and talk some shit like, what, the, what you mean? Uh, uh, what's up, then, nigga? And yeah. you just got to score up and fight. Well, so so my friend in college, freshman year, had a girl, a roommate that was so nasty. She would leave her maxi pads covered in blood, face up. Like open face fucking sandwich, dude, in the middle of their dorm room. So I we actually had this problem. So it, we would do things like if one time we would just move her backpack and put it on top of her maxi pad, like here, nasty bitch. Yeah. And the smell got so bad and it was so overwhelming that she just moved out and switched roommates. Like she can also petition with the school yeah. and tell your your RA, your what what is that called? Your resident, whatever, associate, who the fucking and yeah, be yeah. like, this bitch is nasty. Can I switch roommates? Because honestly, 
they're not going to get it. She's not going to get that she's nasty until some guy tells her or whatever. I think that she had to be raised like that or something. Yeah. She had to be raised by like some some nasty motherfuckers, man. That's nasty that bitch. Cuz I don't that's one thing, man. Women don't play about that period shit. No. It's almost like like most women I be with, well, you don't even know these motherfuckers get periods no. and shit. It's almost like a, a magical thing, man. It's I ain't ghost. never seen no pad. I ain't no. never seen nothing. I don't know what the fuck. I know she do. I know it happens. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Even even when the time, I guess even when it's going down, the motherfucker disappears or some shit. She pop back yeah. up. Like, yeah, I mean, so yeah. Well, that's because shame is a powerful tool and we, we just hide it. We hide it from you guys because like nobody wants to know that shit, dude. It's nasty. It's nasty as fuck. It's nasty for us even. That's like the, every time I think about periods. See, that's what I tell you. Rap music fucked my life up. It, it's this um, <laughs> rapper named Sugar Free, and he said, uh, "Anything that could bleed for seven days and don't die." <laughs> yeah. And look me dead in my eye. I can't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> so I always uh, think about that. Man. He's right about that. He's oh, right man. about that. Yeah, sugar free. That's so how sugar free, man. So I wish man. you guys had a period or just something. We disgusting. do have a period. What do you have? Not being able to fuck another bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's your suffering. That's why. That's why niggas yeah. be so angry. You're like, I want to cut. You're like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> you laying down with her like. Ugh. My girl get mad at me every time I say that. That's a, uh, it's actually a Patrice O'Neill bit. That's where I got that oh, from. Oh, Patrice. I love rest in peace, man. I love that nigga. Yeah. But yeah, that's what he said, man. Men, men do have periods, and it's just you know, when you with a woman for so long. After a while, you don't want you know. But yeah. I don't even think that's true, cause I, I just think that's the porn and all that shit be fucking niggas heads up. Cause if you wasn't seeing that shit, cause I remember yeah. before all the porn was everywhere and all this OnlyFans, Instagram, nigga, you you had your one bitch, and that's mm -hmm. you, and you just seen her. You ain't seen no other. Where you go see her at the mall with another? Like you wouldn't. It wasn't no seeing all these women. You see one on TV, that was just, you're not about to get motherfucking Liz Taylor on Dallas or some shit. Right. That was over with. Right. So, yeah, I think I think we just visually seeing too many bitches. Yeah. But then don't you get desensitized when you see so many bitches? No, because like, they morph into different bitches every year. Oh, different bitches. <laughs> <laughs> now the new bitches is doing deadlifts and shit, man. You look at the new bitches on TikTok. Like, damn, this bitch is ripped. She got her ass poked out, lifting up shit. You're like, damn, man. So every year is a new form of bitch that's just morph like Pokemans. Like, look at this new bitch. Ah, ah. <laughs> So yeah, that's all it is, man. They keep coming every year. It's like a fad, man. The bitches keep coming, yeah. Yeah, because remember, like that's true. once Kim Kardashian, like with the asses and now everybody, all the bitches got fake booties now. Yeah. So the booty is like whatever now. So now it's like, damn, what can you do now? The bitches like fuck, get abs. <laughs> yeah. Now these bitches got six packs, big booties, traps and shit. You like yep. what the fuck is going on? Yeah, they're morphing. Yeah, they morphing. Super bitches. Yeah, they're taking steroids. That's they don't give so a fuck. That's so true, because tits aren't even that big of a deal. It used to be tits, yeah, like Pamela right. Anderson, then ass. It was tits, right. then ass. That was just... Face. Everybody's getting their faces injected, though. I mean, that I feel weird... like it's just... That's what I'm saying. We Now, we're in the first... Um, I wouldn't say the first, but we're in the beginning stage. That's what I was telling them. We're in the beginning stage where... We're about to get fully customized bitches. Yeah. Where they be like, I want to look like this. And they can make themselves look like that. They got the money to want to be able to do that. Yeah. And that's bad. No, it's crazy. That's bad because it's going to fucking, I don't know. I don't know, man. There's like, you know about Mary Magdalene? Mary Magdalene, the whore? In the Bible? No, she's a, uh, can, can we, this, she's my favorite. Guess what, man? She's, now she's been tripping. She's on YouTube now. She, 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 she done got woke or something. I think no. she done seen some woke TikToks or something. So now she on YouTube. Now she's starting to get her chakras aligned and shit. And now she's talking <laughs> about shit like that. But yeah, man, Mary Magdalene, man. I actually want to have her on the show one day, man. She's fucking hilarious. Let's see. Go. Okay. There she go. Oh, I see. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, so she's like a, a girl who's like extra. She's got extra stuff going. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. it's, it's normal now, because there's this girl I follow on TikTok, who's just like a regular pretty girl, and she's like, I just had my eyes done to look more whatever cat-like. And you're mm -hmm. like, that's crazy that you're like 20-year-olds are cutting their eyes now. Yeah, to you look gotta like, be careful with that. I feel like starting too young. Yeah, they look like like Instagram pictures. Yeah, starting this chick's great, Mary Magdalene. No, yeah, no, she's I'm a fan hilarious. already. She's hilarious. I'm like, like we want you. You got your cool guys. I like her. She's the number <laughs> one cool girl. I swear <laughs> to God, she be um, she be on um YouTube. I mean Instagram live, fucking huffing. Oh, What's cool. Shit? Yeah, nitrous and shit. She on there yeah. huffing nitrous, going out there zoning out and shit. So yeah, I watch her a lot, man. She's one. That's how she used to look though. Oh, before wow. Before and after right there. I got to get on her because I like this type of shit. I know, I know. I love this type of shit. I know. She's, um, she's oh my on... God, that looks like Tina. Yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> wow. With red hair, she looks yeah. like Tina. Yeah. So Damn. yeah, she's one of my favorite cool girls' names. Yeah, she's cool. All right. Next up, we got girlfriend is annoying. Hey, uh -oh. Danny and the Booth boys. I'm a young guy who's been dating my girl for over a year now. She's a nice girl, real pretty, good to my family and friends, but she has slowly over time made me not like her with all the little things she does. Uh -oh. I love this girl, but her bro wants to get back out on the scene. Do I leave this gym of a girl because she's a normie, or do I just keep going? Keep them high and tight. Shouts out to the D, born and raised aunt. I ain't gonna lie, I have been, uh, I've been with an annoying, <laughs> an annoying. <laughs> I've been with an annoying bitch before, though, and I can get it, dog. It can't be cringe. Yeah. Like, would they be like kind of almost like embarrassing? Like, you'd be like, say shit to you. Like, even when y'all just be one on one, like, y'all could be watching a TV show or something. She'd be like, oh, you know? <laughs> just Fuck. say something that just fucks with you. Like, oh my God, I hate this motherfucker, man. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. but, she, but she look good. Yeah. Look, she got a fat ass and all that shit, man. I already know what that is. But at the end of the day, I don't think it never will work. Never. I always tell that I, I'd rather be with an ugly bitch that I like. And have fun and, and joke and, and, you know, I have a great time being with this person than being with a bad bitch that I hate being around. Oh, yeah. You'll be miserable, man. Hands down. You'll be because miserable. Because the looks fade. I mean, if they're annoying all the time, no way, dude. I, I, think, no. I think that's the whole, that's like a perception thing. I think motherfuckers care about, um, care about what people think, think about them or something. Like a motherfucker, like, it's a lot of niggas I know. They'll fuck fat bitches, but they ain't going to be in public with a fat bitch. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> They ain't gonna be walking through the AGB like, oh no, look at it. But they'll sneak over there at, at 1 a.m. Like, oh, like yeah. I see you at that fat bitch house. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a thing in the hood, man. Like, you'll see a nigga sneaking over the fat bitch house in the hood. Like, I see you coming out there. <laughs> Whether you're shopping for yourself or someone special, Adam and Eve will have the perfect gifts and with an amazing deal. At adamandeve.com, get 50% off plus free shipping. That's 50% off an adventurous new toy, a slippery lube, or almost anything else you desire. Our podcast listeners will get 50% off almost any item. Just use code DANNYB at checkout and you'll get 50% off and free shipping. Doesn't matter what you choose, all be packaged and sent discreetly for free. More pleasure in the bedroom is the gift that keeps on giving. Treat yourself, treat your partner. Life is too short to not enjoy yourself. If it's one thing about a relationship, you always got to spice things up to keep things romantic. And you got to keep things fun in the bedroom. And one way you can do that is just add a little toy in your life. That's right. So go to adamandeve.com. Select any one item. Use code Danny B. This is an exclusive offer specific to this podcast. So be sure to support our show and use this code Danny B to not just get 50% off but also 100% free shipping code Danny B go to adamandeve.com right now you ain't gonna lie I was coming off that I went over that motherfucker too one day man I ain't gonna lie mm -hmm. so yeah but no I think it would never work man no. I would say personality over everything everything right because mm -hmm. you get over the looks you get over that stuff and if they suck forget it it's, it's just never nothing, gonna work it's just nothing better than being with somebody you wanna be with yeah you get it? Because there's a lot of relationships. I see it. Some motherfuckers in relationships just because they ain't got nowhere else to go right now. They still got to put half on the rent. So they're like, fuck it, man. I got to yep. stick it out. This nigga motherfuckers being in relationship for financial reasons, all type of shit. So if you can actually just find a person that you're like, I like this motherfucker, man. They cool as hell. I have a great time. We funny. Um, regardless of what they look like, I think that's the more of a go-to because you'll be happier in life. Well, and if you're looking for marriage, like looks fade anyways. You're, you're going to get fucking old and fat and shitty anyway. You may as well pick someone you like. Yeah, I mean, except for Tom and I, who just get better and better looking. But. Exactly. I don't know, man. I feel like with me, um, I just, I don't know, man. I, I, I like who like me. <laughs> <laughs> if you like you me, I like you. Yeah, I that's like it. who like me. Well. So if you put the effort in, I'll put the effort in. So yeah, that's what me and my girl, I think she likes me. I like her too. So it's like, you know. We, we we hang out. We Aww. have fun. So it's cool. You get what I'm saying? I've just been fucking taking care of this goddamn dog, man. Which the, Oh, yeah. You told me. Yeah, man. Fucking ditto, man. It's been fucking... She got bit in the neck by <gasps> something. I don't know. Something. I don't know. Maybe that's a duck, but it's fucked up. It's like bleeding and shit. What? And she keeps scratching it. I mean, we keep trying. You can't even touch it, though. If you touch it, she fucking screams <gasps> and hollers. So I don't know what's wrong. It almost looked like she burnt, like a, like maybe burnt herself or something. But wow. she ain't been around nothing when she could have burnt herself or nothing. But yeah, man. So. Do you let her run around outside? Yeah, we go outside. But it's, you know, she, you know, she hairless. So oh. I think, um, I think she really get cold. 
Yeah, don't let her outside. Then. No, so no, she go outside. She she like going outside all day, especially when it's when it's warm. But you know, but since she's it's hairless. Been cold, yeah, like a hairless a dog. Hairless chihuahua, yeah. Shut the. F- oh, those are tiny. Ti- yeah, mm-hmm. tiny. They shiver so a bad. lot. She thinks she's a pit bull. She thinks yeah. she's fucking huge, but she don't. Um, now she got this thing where she don't really let a motherfucker sleep, kinda. What? Like I don't know, man. Like she, I don't know, man. She sleep like she take little bullshit naps during the day. Or whatever, hang out. But it's like when it's time for her to go to bed, when when we want to lay down and go to sleep, it's like her turn up time. Oh, so no. she's just jumping around, doing crazy shit. I don't know, man. That's annoying. So, How yeah. old is she? I want to say six months, maybe oh, seven months. That's why. <laughs> I'm like, no, dude. It's still like a baby, man. Yeah. So it's so hard. But my girl, her ass, she out any chance she gets. She be like, I gotta go to store. I gotta do something. Like she get. It. She just so I'm just be stuck with her ass all day. And I don't know. She might got some some of you in her. She hates. She, she won't let me play no fucking video games. So it's like I'm sitting there. So I really just gotta like fucking watch this dog every time I'm fucking with her, man. And it's it's fun to say the least. But um, oh, she don't. And she real selfish too. Like I can't. I ain't never met an animal like this. Like the other dog, I can't even pet the other dog. Oh yeah. But Sounds like don't. you got a new baby in the house. That's, That's what it's like. Yeah. It's and the I told same her thing. she like I'm thinking about getting this. Dog. I ain't had nothing to do with this. This was all her decision. She's like, I'm thinking about getting this dog. I want to get this dog. I'm like, man, that's a puppy, man. Like, uh-uh. you know what you're getting yourself into. I'll never into. do it like, again. Because I've had, I've grown, we raised, a, um, we had a puppy, a Rockweiler, when I was like, you know, maybe, I'm say middle school, maybe a teenager. But yeah, we, we I raised a Rockweiler from a puppy, and that motherfucker <sighs> was crazy. Worst, yeah. That motherfucker was so crazy, motherfuckers poisoned his ass. <laughs> Who the, the mechanics next door. It was, you know how you got those hood mechanics that be having a whole bunch of broke down cars in their backyard. Yeah. yeah, so them niggas be having customers over. You know, they they got they running they makeshift motherfucking auto shop out the motherfucking backyard and shit. So my dog was after, you know, I raised her. So she was a maybe that's what's happening with Ditto too. So she was a crazy motherfucker. She hop over the fence, she she attacking shit. Anything she see, get close to the crib. She making it happen. So yeah, I think she's to jump over the fence and always try to attack the motherfucker. They be screaming, "Come get your dog." <laughs> And I grew out there, got to go get her and shit. So I think after a while they got tired of that shit, they hit her ass with some antifreeze. Oh my God. Yeah. Her dumb ass drunk it though. Yeah. I think, <laughs> I, you know what? I think my own neighbor killed our cat too, our white trash neighbor back in the valley when I grew up too. But you know something? Here's what you got to do with the dog because dogs are like children. If you mm-hmm. don't get the energy out of them, they're going to fuck up your house. No, that's the same thing I'm be trying to tell my girl. She don't understand Run her. Part. Yeah, Run you got to give. You so then she'll gotta, sleep at night. No, it's just easier for you. Just go ahead and yeah. just get it out the way with them, play with her. Because she'll fall asleep after that once you tie yeah. her ass out. She's one of them type of dogs that are still fat. She'll go chase a stick oh, for an hour. Let her do so, it. Yeah, so I, I do that shit, then I knock her ass out. Yep. You know what I used to do with Bitsy? We play the, just, I, I, I just make her run up and down the stairs. Mm-hmm. Come here, come here, run up and down the stairs, and then on the couch, down the couch, on the couch. Just make her fucking do it. Make her chase <laughs> stupid shit all day. Me personally, I, I wouldn't say I'm a pet person. No. And that's, that's just too because hard. of, um, um, I don't, I don't like getting attached to a motherfucker that I know going to die. I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only thing that, that's made me with it. You be loving the dog and shit next to you. Know, we just went through that. Had to put, put one of the dogs down, man. That shit was sad as fuck. I had to eat mushrooms and shit, crying and shit. It's the worst. I eat mushrooms looking at the other dog. He crying. Like, what the fuck is going on <laughs> in here, man? That shit was sad, man. Do you know Tom looked into cloning our Yeah, I've dog? seen some about that. Yeah, because yeah, we loved our first dog so much. Um... I mean, I might do it honestly because it's so heartbreaking. I mean, I mean, so. if if it, what if that motherfucker? You know how 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 Westworld was I know. where they kept trying to do the consciousness, but that motherfucker come back glitchy. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it'll be the it will. but then it just be it just be a little <laughs> off. You know what I'm saying? Like a zombie dog. It, it'll get motherfucker. Yeah, that's 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 how um, that's how my girl dog was that we just put down. She was so old, man. She was fucking. I mean, you know, she should have been got put her down. But my girl just couldn't let go. You know, she was yeah. super old. She couldn't really fucking walk. Or, so, yeah. So we put her down. And, <sighs> so and that's what made her want to get the new dog. You know, that's what happens yeah. when a motherfucker, you know, when one die, you just get another one just to, you know, transfer that pain on the other mm-hmm. one, I guess. You know, I did that with my cats, too, at one point in time. But, no, nah, I think um, I'm not really a pet guy. And that's mm-hmm. just because that and. The motherfuckers is nasty too, man. No matter mm-hmm. what you got, if you got any type of pet, like your house is not going to be one level dirtier. So gross. If there's <laughs> dog shit everywhere. Yes, like Diarrhea. Right now, when I leave from here, I got to go mop the floor. Yeah. Like I cleaned up and did everything, but I'm like, fuck, this floor yep. is nasty, nasty. man. She and that's from them up. going outside, wet paws coming back in. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's wood and shit. 
and doing all that. All right, all right. That's enough pit talk. It's constant. <laughs> constant. But don't you find that you have a soul dog? Like, mm-hmm. have, you, have you ever had a soul dog or a soul cat where they just, like, it's your soul animal? Yeah, that's what I did always for me, yeah. I think. That's what yeah. I never, that's what I'm saying. I never met that. Like, and that's another thing, too. I think what it is. Um, when it's time to go to bed, she wants me to go to bed with her. <laughs> Like she's just not happy with just sleeping in the bed with my girl. So, you know, me, <laughs> for me, that's when, like, late night when they go to bed and shit, I'm, I feel like that's my time I can yep. work. That's when I'm going to write shit. I'm going to fuck around with some music. That's my, because during the day I'm watching them or I'm doing shit. I'm, you know, she works. So, you know, half the time, you know, I want to say I could try to, you know, get some work done in my office room. But the motherfuckers be screaming, fighting and shit. I can't do nothing. So, I yeah. just, you know, I chill with them. Yeah. When she get off work, I'd be like, oh, yeah, it's my time to shine. I'm about to go in my room, right, you know, do some work. Mm-hmm. And, no, she want to take a nap, so I got to let her take a nap. <laughs> yeah, and I understand that. After work naps, I guess, are essential. Oh, yeah. You've got you've got a baby now, it sounds like. You really have a baby in the house, dude. I told her this, it's, too, man. It's fucking up your I life. It's going to fuck up your life for two years. And it's fucked up. We put her in obedience school, thinking that was going to be cool. That shit doesn't work. It either. came back worse. I know. It that was obedience... almost like you, she, she went to jail and just met yeah. the real G. Yeah. She's like, oh, you know what? She came back out like, oh, I'm on the streets now. I'm back out. Yeah. What? I swear, when I picked her up, when I picked her up for the obedience school, and I came and got her early because I, I had came. That's when I had went to Europe. So I went to Europe. My girl went to Mexico. So we had to have somebody watch the dog. She's like, the smartest thing to do, probably put her in obedience school. Maybe she'll learn some shit. We'll come back. She'll be a different mm, yeah. dog. Nope. Shit yeah. Work. It was a different dog way. Um, all right. <laughs> White people shit. White people shit. Leaving the lights oh. on. What's good, Danny? Second time right in. Really fuck with the podcast and what these white people got you on. <laughs> <laughs> so due to uh, my current circumstances, I'm living with my girl and her mom at her mom's crib. Her mom loves to leave the house with either her room lamp or some other light on, knowing she'll hmm. be out for an hour or more. I turn the lights off. I turn the lights off of my girl and her at home, though. Do you personally take his white people shit? My dad will fuck me up for that. It is kind of um, some white people shit too, because my girl be leaving the lights on and shit all the time. Really? Now I understand with everybody leaves the house, you know we always like, man, somebody gonna break in this bitch. You better cut a lamp on or something. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, your mom back in the hood, in the hood, shit, you leave a motherfucking light on, your mama whoop your ass on yeah. that shit. So it's like instilled <laughs> in us, like you better cut. You leave a room, you cut that motherfucking light off for real. Sometimes my girl she be having lights on everywhere. I'd be like, what the fuck you got going on, man? Like, you ain't even, like, hallway light. She'd be asleep with a hallway light on. Like, I'd be like, man, ain't nobody coming in here. Right now. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> like a psycho killer go come. You need a hallway light on. Like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, my mom would whoop my ass about kept lights on. So I think, yeah, that's some. Um, that's white people stuff. Well, see, but my mom was immigrant mom, and she would whoop my ass. If I, I kept think, yeah, that's on. another thing. So, like, my Filipino grandma, she ain't play that shit either. Yeah, that's immigrant. We ain't just immigrant. about to keep no lights on and oh, shit. Oh, wait. Okay, I have a thing. Do black people do this? Because I saw this as a meme. But mm-hmm. I do this, too. Um, instead of using, like, a night light, you turn on the, um, you know, over the, the stove. Oh, yeah. The you leave light? the stove light See, on. See, that's the one light that's, that, that's, that, that's hood certified. That you yeah, can keep that one on. <laughs> For some reason... <laughs> And that's the only a motherfucker one a motherfucker room replaced the smoke detector battery. They let that shit be <laughs> for four years, but as soon as the light go off on the motherfucking stove, they like hold up, we got it because that's your kitchen light. That's yeah. the light right there. Yeah, that motherfucker do everything. So yeah, you're right. That that's the one light that gets the cosign. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, for sure. I don't cut that motherfucker off. That motherfucker stay on in the daytime. Seriously. Uh, type of shit. <laughs> well, why? Do, I love it too so much. I feel like it's like such a comforting place to have a light. It's like the center of the home. For me, the kitchen. I'm always cooking. I'm always cooking. Yeah, I feel like if the My one place you can at least have a light on it would be because I feel like that's, a, um, you know, you wake up late night mm-hmm. and, you know, you could just go into the kitchen. You got a little bit of light. You can do what you got to do and you don't got to mm-hmm. be cutting on no lights waking, you know, just lights, man. Like, like I, I'm fuck with it. I like natural light more so than anything, so. If I can get a place that got big ass windows and oh, shit, yeah. I'm getting a lot of sun through. And like I say, even from maybe that's why I got sad when I was saying like it's all gray and gloomy out here and shit. Because, you know, I, I've learned that getting a lot of sun and vitamin D, it does work for your mental health and it shit. Does. It does make you happier and shit like that. So I don't know, man. I, I want to see the sun now. I know. It'll come back. <laughs> don't worry, baby. It'll come. I know. We can't. It'll we got to enjoy what we got going on right here because when he do come back, that motherfucker going to kill you. Yeah, it's pretty real here. So wait, do you when you get up to pee in the middle of the night, do you turn the whole light on or do you have an... Like, is, is it okay to have a, a nightlight? No, I go rogue. I just pee in the dark. 
it makes it way more intense. It's almost like playing a life. It's almost like playing a life video game. You know, I call it certain <laughs> games of life. Like it's like a life game. Like I want to wake up in the morning. Like what is my score? Did I fuck up the toilet seat this time, or did I hit the? <laughs> did I get a perfect score? Did I? Did I aim right? Half sleep, half that. So it's like what was my what was my late night piss score? You get what I'm yeah. saying? So I go to the bathroom and then in the morning look at the toilet because then you got to clean up. You know, yeah. and if it's piss everywhere, oh my god, it's fucked up. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> that's one of my life games. How good is my aim? <laughs> my kids do that too. Then I sit down on the piss toilet all the time because they don't lift up the seat yet. Mm -hmm. And I sit on piss every day almost. I'm as, so as, used to as, it. It's fucked up. I don't know why I'm saying it's fucked up, but I um I think you should teach a motherfucker how to piss. I know. Like no one has never taught me. My dad ain't never been like, you grab your dick like this, you aim like that, boom, 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 you do that. He's just like, they go for what you know. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes you just do it all type of shit, man. Now I'm making, playing games, playing tricks, motherfucker making lassos and shit. <laughs> Fucking up bathrooms everywhere you go. <laughs> all right. White people shit is love running 5K is on the morning of Thanksgiving. Oh, that's so good. That's so true. I hate that shit, but that is white people shit. Marathon running? Fuck marathon running. Ugh. <sighs> Motherfuckers that run marathons, uh, they all look like crackheads. I'd be like, how you doing all that running? <laughs> but you look like you smoke crack. You get what I'm saying? I don't understand that body dynamic, man. That's the only thing that made me be like, man, you run, if you if you run a lot of miles, you just look like you smoke crack. So yeah. Shouts out to the uh, marathon runners man, out there, man. Y'all doing a good job when y'all run for like fundraisers and shit like that. I do think that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> but when motherfuckers be like, man, yeah, I run marathons. But it does um and engulf stay alive. Oh, like, yeah. if you meet those type of people, they just always talking about running and oh, shit all the time. Like, I got a homeboy that, um, you know, he was the normal nigga. Then he just started running marathons and shit, man. I used to see him on Instagram and shit. Oh. He'd be with, like, white ladies and shit, and they got muscles and shit, and they be holding people up and just doing weird shit all the time. And he always um, posted his um, Strava's and shit. Like, look, I ran, you know, every oh. morning he got, I ran eight miles in 45 oh. minutes. Like, damn, nigga, okay. I mean, unless you unless you want to run from the police, I don't see no benefit in your <laughs> life right now. I don't see that being a benefit in your life. Well, I don't un I don't understand. I'll, I'll tell you what I don't understand: as excess, right, suffering. I understand if you want to run. Okay, I, I ran a few miles today mm -hmm. to keep healthy. Yeah. But this whole idea of like 25, 30 miles, I'm gonna do it on Thanksgiving, which is supposed to be the one day of the year where you chill. You're supposed to eat too much, be with the family, and chill the fuck out. So you're ruining that whole holiday with your your, your overkill. Yeah, it's, that's, that's, it's, why, that's why it's white people shit. That's I hate they, that's it. That's what they want to do. Yeah, why would you destroy the <laughs> one leisurely day? That's what they do. Yeah. <laughs> that's the whole game. Horrible. Shit. But no, man. Horrible. Um, Nightmare. I wouldn't say this is actually white people shit. I would say more so that's that fitness nut health. Yeah, but health that's white people shit. But then aren't white people it's the healthiest? All the motherfuckers, man, TikTok and all that shit, man. Um, social media in general made everybody get muscles. It's nothing more than I, I that's hate. That's true. I, I hate when the motherfuckers was like, man, I like you better when you was fat, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's fucked up as it seems. Like you ever met a person like they was. They was cool as hell when they was fat and shit. Now, as soon as they, they drinking protein shakes and shit, they talking to you about your McDonald's. Like, nigga, I'm skinny still, man. I don't know what you talking about. Mm. But yeah, I, I, it is annoying. Almost like how vegans is, too. Vegans are the worst. That's the worst. Because they think That's it tastes good. Tastes terrible. <laughs> You'd be like, dog. If you really just ate a piece of meat, man, you might just fall off and die <laughs> around this motherfucker, man. After all this tofu and shit you've been eating, man. Well, I think the the the... The shitty part about vegans is they try to convince you and themselves that it tastes good. Like, no, no, there's this vegan restaurant. It's actually really good, Christina. You should go. And I'm like, don't. First of all, you're lying to yourself, and now you're lying. I never had anything. Don't lie. Um, I never had anything vegan that tastes good. Of course not. It tastes like shit. I've tried it all. Ice cream, all types oh, of shit. Like, about um, it. I never tasted anything. And I'm not saying that to hate. Like, even um. Uh, like even just being weird, getting a fucking uh plant based whopper. What is that shit? Oh <laughs> With all the restaurants and shit, all the fucking Burger Kings and the Impossible. Burger yeah, they start making right? Impossible burgers. I have tried it. Yeah, but true. then I found out that shit is damn near just as unhealthy as a regular yeah. burger. That's they say they got like mad sodium and shit. Like it's a whole bunch of salt and shit in it. Yeah, which makes sense. I mean, I mean I like salt though, but um. Yeah. No, I'm not um, about to um, get high blood pressure from an Impossible Whopper, man. That'd be fucked up. <laughs> that <laughs> you get what I'm sucks. saying? Like that's what thing, nigga. Like I thought, thought, thought I was avoiding all these health complications by trying to eat better. Well, even like, um, because I tried to be 
somewhat vegetarian vegan for like a half a minute of my life and I was looking into like uh, soy cheese or cheese made with nuts, that shit is just as as unhealthy and fatty and, and crappy as the regular thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There's not a lot of health benefits, I think, to substituting. I mean, stuff. I just think it's the most part, if you're just not eating like crazy processed shit, yeah. like you're not eating fucking DiGiorno's and, yeah. <laughs> and, and Tyson chicken nuggets and shit like that, and you're just eating like real, I think for the most, just Uber Eats and all that shit has fucked up a lot of shit too. Yeah. So it's kind of hard. I don't know, yeah. man. Because every now and then I'd be like, because you can get whatever you want when you want. And that wasn't a cool thing. Like sometimes you would have to get up oh, and fuck go. That, like yeah. If you want that shit, you got to get up and go. And now it's like, I can just get that shit. It might be a little lukewarm when it comes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the one thing. It's going to be a little lukewarm. Yeah. Eating Uber Eats is almost lightweight like eating prison food a little bit. <laughs> I ain't, so never had no- <laughs> I ain't never had nothing come like fresh and piping hot. Like the motherfuckers be driving around with your shit, selling weed to motherfuckers and shit. I've been watching niggas like, why he stop right there? Like, what is he doing? A random side street, you come back, ice melted in your drink and shit. You're like, damn, man. So I, I have been, um, like my girl got me a Traeger grill. So I, 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 oh, uh, cool. Yeah, so I was grilling and shit. I mean, now the weather is all fucked up, so. Every time I try to grill, it start fucking raining. Yeah. And then it fucking um, soaked all my pellets and shit. So mm. now I got to get new pellets. I got to do all this other shit. So mm. I haven't really been grilling. But I think I'm um, I'm going to rip some um, ribs down for, for New Year's. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, I love them. Yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get drunk too drunk. I burn them and fuck them up. I've, <laughs> I've fucked up so many ribs since, since I've started this quest of being a black man knowing how to make ribs. <laughs> so I'm going I'm getting I'm getting my initiations like I'm getting it out of myself I'm learning I'm getting my timing down and I think what it is too it's all about I think everybody grill heats heats different yes so you can't just be looking at recipes and watching YouTube videos no. and think you about to you know perfect what they did like everything's a little different you know you could take take from here take from there you know till you get your shit together it's almost like learning anything else so that's what I've been doing that is so true. It's all about it's all about your oven. Mm-hmm. It's all about your. It's all about. Yeah. And then you got to think when Texas, so you got your grill just in the blaring sun. It's fucking 100, 120 degrees outside. Just you know, that's yeah. adding some more shit to yeah. it. You get what I'm saying? It ain't like yeah. I'm I'm fucking cooking in seventy degree weather. You know. That's so so yeah, that that adds a fucking element to it. So yeah, but so I, I, that is one thing I want to be good at. That's why I can say I could possibly never really um fully really like eat healthy like that. Even though I wouldn't say ribs is that bad. I don't think it's that bad. I mean, if you're not eating them every day. Well, it's definitely they're fatty. You eat pork ribs. I love pork ribs. Me too. It's the beef favorite. ribs is weird. I don't like the beef <laughs> either. They're super big. And yeah, I, they look all weird, like yeah. red stones and shit. Like, man, I'm straight. Yeah. But then they taste all. They just not. I mean, that's, they, they're like, I'm like, man, see, this ain't. This is what the Muslims want you to do, type shit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? A beef rib. Like, come on, man. That ain't what, you know what I'm saying? You know what I do love, though? Are you a dry rub guy? Yeah, or? that's what I like. I don't really be fucking with the sauces like that. I mean, I thought I knew you, dude. I mean, I'm a sauce boss. Don't get me wrong. I got all I'm the sauces. I'm a sauce boss. I collect sauces. I got sauces. Well, what's, your, what's your sauce? Oh, right now, I'm, I'm, I've been on a mambo sauce kick. Mambo? Yeah, mambo okay. sauce. Like, like, Is it uh, sweet? DC, yeah. It's I like a, sweet. It's like a um, DMV, DC thing. You go out there, you get your... You get your, you go to one of them Chinese stores and shit, and you get the motherfucking four four rings fried hard, mm. and they give you the crinkly fries, and then you just throw, you just squirt mambo sauce all over this mm. shit. So yeah, I found some. I, I was actually talking about mambo sauce on here, and the motherfuckers been hitting me up like, no, it's actually a. So I was like, man, they selling mambo sauce on um, on Amazon. That got to be gentrified. Yeah, yeah, that shit right there, Capital City. I'll try that out. Can I it's tell like you? It's like a sweet. I like sweet. And can I tell you my favorite one? Dreamland barbecue sauce. Dreamland. Dreamland in, is in uh, Alabama, right? I never in heard Birmingham. Of this. this, that's it. And I buy it online. I have it shipped to the house on Amazon now too. This one I love. I could swim in Dreamland. So I would try to. Fuck. I haven't had one. a barbecue sauce. I think that I really liked in a long time. Cause I've been eating like the Korean barbecue sauce. Me too. I'm a huge fan of and Korean barbecue. So yeah, but and and I'm from um, out here, which I found is weird. But I guess that lets me know it was a fucked up barbecue sauce. Where I grew up, I, I, we, we ate open pit barbecue sauce. Open pit. See? You never heard of that shit? Look at it's the some label. It's cheap ass. It's a blue. Yeah, open Hold pit on, barbecue sauce. Hold on, because my mother may have used it. Because I think... But it makes... If you like put butter in it, Ooh. like you put butter in it and cook it up, throw some little Frank's hot sauce, a couple splashes, it, it, it'd make a... <gasps> Let me tell you the most white trash thing I love to eat. <laughs> <laughs> and I forgot about them, and now I'm making them for the kids. Oh, what's that? Okay. Pigs in a blanket. <laughs> 
with little smokies. You know, I, I lo- love that shit. I fucking love little smokies. I don't smokies. say that's white people shit. I think that's fire shit, right? That's good shit. Okay. I don't know if that's just white trash because, and then I, I get the dough and then you mm-hmm. roll them up. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. I think that's because that's an actual, I would say that's just some hood shit, trailer yeah. park shit in general <laughs> because uh, they were so, so cheap good. to make because my mom would make those all the time too. Me my too. mom used to make them, you know? Yeah. She'd make them, but they'd be like full ass hot dogs with big ass <laughs> biscuits. They'd be big as hell. She'd cut them in half, put some cheese in the middle of them shit. Them pigs oh. in the blankets used to be slapping. I ain't yeah. even gonna lie. Yeah. Them pigs in the bank used to be slapping. I will say, um, um, before I get you out of here, man, I gotta um you do know um about the um the sexy gothic bad boy King Cobra. That's some weird shit from the web. What? King Cobra JFS. This weekend, man, what? I'ma keep cause I'ma keep being on look, I got you right here, bud. <laughs> you, you do you the co-host now of the Danny <laughs> Brown show, my nigga Cyrax. You here with us every episode for now, but Oh, this my boy King Cobra. Hi, JFS. Um, so yeah, man, King Cobra. He started. He started YouTube. I want to say about about 2011. Um, I, I, I wish you could see a before and after picture. This is what he looks like currently when he first started. Um, he 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 looked a lot younger and a lot more vibrant. <laughs> no, just, yeah, there we go, right there okay. with those glasses, right there. Oh that's wow, how it was that's how he looked when he started. Wow. Um, he met his first girlfriend in Job Corps. Oh, cool. Which he lost his virginity to her in the bathroom nice. the same day. Um, he actually got um, um, he got kicked out of Job Corps for, um, you know, doing King Cobra shit. Yeah. And um, he got back home. You know, his dad told him. He actually, he, he's from um, Casper, Wyoming. Okay. Um, he's looking for a of age cisgendered girlfriend now. Okay. Because um, his girlfriend that he had, which was, um, I think, Probably about 10 years ago. I think that was maybe about 2012, 2013. I've been following this guy for a long time. <laughs> you, uh, I love, I love King Cobra. I actually King love King Cobra. That's the difference. I hate you, motherfucker. Fuck you, Cyrex. <laughs> and we love King Cobra. I'm saying all this because this weekend, we actually, we getting close to making these mother. I want to have a boxing match between King Cobra <gasps> and Cyrex. And we're trying to put it. But they was on a panel together. They was talking to each other because, because you know, King Cobra don't like no fucking creeps. He don't like no fucking sickos. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they go Cyrex bitch ass right there. Oh. So yeah. Uh, and five three goblin. Hold on, we gotta tell you some more about. Oh, we don't yeah. want to give Cyrex no clout. Okay. So we getting okay. back to King Cobra. Um. So yeah, uh, my boy King Cobra, man, he makes um dank ass um cooking videos. That's nice. what's up. He says that a lot. So yeah, man. Um, he got a job at Wendy's one time. Oh. And. And um, this one troll. You know, just started watching him on YouTube and shit. So he started fucking with him. See, that's the thing. Like, as much as we troll and we fuck with King Cobra, we really love this guy. Sure. Because he gives us entertainment. Of so, course. So we, so we bless him. But I, I, that was his last job, I want to say. He did have a little job, but he worked at Wendy's and motherfuckers kept trolling the Wendy's and talking shit about him and shit. And I think he, um, I think he made a fell asleep. Oh, he got fired from Wendy's because this motherfucker was, um, he was confusing the T's. Confusing the tea? Yeah, so he was putting a sweet tea oh, in oh. a plain tea. <laughs> and a motherfucker had a diabetic shot. <laughs> That's a big problem. So he got yeah. fired. So ever since oh. he got fired from Wendy's, he hasn't had a job since. So oh. because he provides us with so much of his content, it doesn't take the Cobes much. He don't need much. The nigga literally started smoking as soon as he turned 18. Like, and he's he a uh, tobacco aficionado. Like the motherfucker, um, he is he'll literally smoke just regular backwoods, regular Philly blunts, just anything with tobacco in it. Oh. He smokes, so he loved tobacco. As soon as he turned 21, he started drinking off rip. <laughs> and he's drunk as fuck all the time. He'd make these dank ass drink combos. Oh. Like he just combine anything. He'll put Mountain Dew with Budweiser and be like, oh, oh. drink combo, fire. You know, and he makes these videos. But I'm saying all this to say is what has happened is now, um, you know, we 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 watch his life deteriorate at a very mm. <laughs> fast pace because now pretty much the internet takes care of them now. So mm-hmm. all you got to do is go because we want to see the funniest shit. You know, he, he provides us with all this content. Yes, and man. we so love we him. Look, so we order, we send them food Good. from Uber Eats all the time. We order them food all the Good. time. But it's going to be content. Like if you can go to um, YouTube. Okay. And, um, recently, they sent him a Subway sauce sandwich. That's the thing. He's not going to turn nothing down. <laughs> if you sent him something, no matter what it is, he's going to eat it. Because he's he like, I can't it. just let food go to waste. Mm-hmm. So they sent him a Subway sandwich with every sauce. Oh. No meat. What? No vegetables. No nothing. <laughs> just every sauce. 
<laughs> you can get <laughs> not even lettuce no nothing it's just the sauce Ugh. like you know they got the vinegars the mayonnaise. mayonnaise mustard yeah the, oh here it go Ugh. look it was some red wine vinegar <laughs> yellow mustard honey mustard sauce creamy sriracha buffalo sauce. <laughs> sweet teriyaki peppercorn ranch sauce it's some chipotle sauce Ugh. man uh, yeah and he ate it? Oh, check it out. Can we see it? Let's check it out. What the fuck's on it, man? Subway makes good sandwiches. Fuck Jared Fogler. Okay, all right. Look at this sloppy mess, YouTube. This is ridiculous. Oh. I'm bad to him. He eats everything oh. like it's an apple. Oh, God. Look <laughs> <laughs> at Chris. Oh my god, you got cobra and eat his vegetables. Oh. <laughs> right, thanks for the free sub, asshole. Y'all are fucking retarded. <laughs> and you feel like he came up. That's a lot of fucking sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. So yeah, babe, mommy, that's uh, King Cobra right this. there, man. Yeah, so they send him drinks all the time. He's make He makes fire-ass cooking videos. What does he cook? Man, some of everything, man. Um, he made a fiery fish pizza one time. Oh my god! Um, he used Doritos as seasoning, which which is not bad. Haven't we learned that <laughs> from your time uh, uh, cooking? Yeah, yeah. But you told me that's a good thing. You crunch up. You told me you crunch up the Doritos, and yeah. it makes a lovely taste. Yeah, it, I mean, yeah, it's seasoning. I, I mean, that's. Yeah, I think once you gotta leave jail, shit in jail. Yeah, I know. When you do jail shit in the outside world, that's how you end up back in jail, man. You don't want to let that it's shit true. go. That's true. You don't want to you gotta channel the vibes. You got to let that jail yeah. shit go. Yeah. I be seeing motherfuckers, they be on TikTok making spreads and doing all that shit, man. I be like, man, y'all motherfuckers is nasty, man. That shit is only good when you in jail, man, because you ain't smoking weed. You ain't getting no pussy. You ain't living a good life. So your taste for shit just start to drastically drop, man. You oh, get a motherfucking so donut. You be like, God damn, it's the best donut I've ever had in my life. Like, no, nigga, you just ain't got no Krispy Kremes and shit, man. Of course, this jail donut gonna taste good. You just, you tasting sugar. That's so true. But all right. <laughs> King oh, Cobra. Let's, let's, let's spin. Yeah, so yeah, you gotta get, oh, he he makes his own albums. Oh. Uh, but we in a new phase. That's what I say. Um, his life is going downhill fast, man. So I, I want to oh. get Cobra back on the right track, man. He's, because he's become, a, a, he's an alcoholic. He's definitely mm. became alcoholic. I, not like I'm the one to judge, you know. I like to drink too. I get my little drinky drinky on too. But no, but see, that's the thing. All he has to do is cut his computer on. Let's just say if he cut his computer on, he's sitting there sober and yeah. it's boring. He's not really providing the content yeah. that we love. Somebody gonna send him a bottle over. Yeah. And he's gonna drink the whole bottle. <laughs> And it's going to be a great time, and we're going to laugh. Motherfuckers make clips out of it and shit like that. Send them over some nasty shit to eat. By the time he's drunk, send him some nasty <laughs> shit. He's going to eat that shit. It's going to be great. Motherfuckers going to troll him, and it's going to be fun. But, um, yeah, he, he's going out. But we in a new arc now, uh, not too long ago, he was sniffing cologne. Oh. Which I didn't know you can get high on Wait sniffing a minute. cologne. This is a whole, I've never even heard of such like a he thing. He sniffed, he putting the whole nozzle, like he taking a pop in the cap. What? <laughs> you can do that to get high? Yeah, so wow. this this where we like, oh, Boglum is getting too far. I, I believe he, he used to smoke spice because his timing is a little off. He's a little... I learned about spice. So right look now. at him. Check him out. Oh. <laughs> Dude, it's okay. <laughs> he acting stupid and shit. I can't be good for your lungs. Or tasting the cologne after? I ain't know you can get house sniffing cologne, though. Me neither. Look, listening to Black Sabbath. I yeah, like the Kobe. song, now. I love the song, too, but it just makes me sad, man, to see my boy Cobe going out like this, man. Cobes, man, listen yeah. to me. This your boy. It's your boy, Denny Brown, man. I've been watching you for years. I'm a fan, man. You can't be huffing no cologne, man. This ain't mm -hmm. what the... You know what I'm saying? You a set the gothic bath boy. I mean, um, he does have really terrible hygiene, though. That's the only thing about mm -hmm. him. That's what made me freaked out that he had a bottle of cologne. Because he never really um washes his ass or nothing. If, if you can Google his teeth, check a look at his teeth. Mm. King Cobra teeth is um, some, it's a sight to see as well. But um, yeah, so he just wears this technical soap. Technical soap? Tactical soap oh, that, that releases pheromones. I think it was oh, really supposed to use no. for hunting. Well, let me tell you, if you want a girlfriend, you have to take showers. But he says it gets from the ladies. No way. All right, man. We about to be up Bullshit. out of here, man. Uh, 
Thank you, mommy, for coming through. Oh, this was a lovely thing. Thank you for having me. Anytime. Yeah, I'm so, I gave you, hit you up with the lore of King Cobra, man. That's my boy. <laughs> it was really special. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know you said you like goth shit. So I like, do. You got to know about the sexy gothic bad boy. He's I'm looking gonna... for an up age cisgender woman. And he hates <laughs> any perv. He hates any PDF files. Any PDF files? PDF files. PDF files. Got you. Okay. Well, I'm going to check him out. I'm going to send him some love. Send him yeah, some he sandwiches. makes dank ass music too. Cool. His cooking tutorials, drink Amaze. combos. King Cobra's a lifestyle, man. But oh, yeah. So. <laughs> a lifestyle. We about this motherfucker, man. We thank the main mommy for coming thank through, you, kicking James. it with your boy. You know what I'm saying? It's the first lady. So, you know, we had to have a first lady for the first lady. You get what I'm boop, saying? Boop. I love it. I love you, Danny Brown. You're the best. I love you too, man. Thank you guys for having me. I couldn't I couldn't be happy. I couldn't be happier with doing this, man. You guys saved my life with this. This is so Aww, much fun, man. So, you and time, man. I love you guys, man. We love you too. All right, man. How y'all motherfuckers? Peace. <laughs>